Well, getting mammograms and pap smears are an important part of staying healthy and detecting problems like cancer. But what about oral health? Ten years ago, oral cancer among women was very rare, but research now shows a major upswing in HPV-related oral cancer, which can be deadly. This morning, we've got potentially life-saving information on what you need to know and the importance of oral cancer screenings. Joining us this morning, Dr. Emily Graham. She specializes in oral cancer screenings, and she joins us this morning with some really great information. Morning to you, Dr. Emily. Good morning, Danielle. Glad you're here with us because when you talk about the numbers, just an incredibly large jump from 10 years ago mm -hmm. to today, right? Why the upswing? Well, they've been able to link a lot of oral cancer to HPV virus 16 and 18. There's a number of HPV viruses. Mm -hmm. And um, the 16 and 18 seem to be very prevalent in oral cancer, mostly because the increase of oral sex occurring. When you say 16 to 18, what do you mean? Okay, HPV has a 1 and a 2 and a 3. It's a different strains of the virus. Mm -hmm. And 16 is the one that causes cervical cancer in females. And 16 and 18 both are connected with anal cancer as, where, as well as penile cancer. So the upswing is because of oral sex? Yes, that's exactly right. That's what they've been able to relate it to. So, well now we're seeing oral cancer occurring in the 20 year olds, 30 year olds, 40 year olds, males and females. It's estimated in 2012 there will be about um, almost 8,000 deaths due to oral cancer this year wow. and over 40,000 cases detected. So very important to get screened, That's right? exactly right. What are you looking for then in the screening process? First of all, we do a visual screening, so we're looking for anything that's maybe a red area in the mouth or a white area, and we look all over. We look top of the tongue, underneath the tongue, inside the cheeks, the roof of the mouth, inside the lips. Um, I am feeling the lymph nodes here, if anything swollen here. Um, so I'm looking for white areas or red areas. Every time you go to the dentist's office and get your teeth cleaned every six months, your hygienist or doctor should be screening you visually. And then if they see something, there's tools that they can use. There's a, a several fluorescent lights out on the market, different, different brands, different companies. But the light itself is once it's shined in, into your mouth, we turn the overhead lights off so we can see specifically in the mouth. But an area that is of a concern will suddenly look very dark. It'll look bigger than what it was under um, your visual light, mm -hmm. and then that puts a, a red flag up. I know that this screening process actually helps save the life of one of your patients, exactly. right? And we're going to take a look at some of that, uh, some of the pictures here, but, but walk me through what happened. Uh, she came in and she had been to see a dentist and she had had a lesion on the side of her tongue, a white area that looked like if you bit your tongue really, really bad, um, it looked sort of like that. But it was staying very large and it was tender and it had been there at least three weeks. And we looked at it and we used the fluorescent light and we saw that this was not a normal cell distribution on her tongue. So I sent her to an um, oral maxillofacial surgeon and he did a biopsy and yes, she has squamous cell carcinoma in her mouth and, and she's had to have a partial tongue removal and she's going through speech therapy, but it saved her life. But it saved her life and I think that is the bottom line. And having said that, what is the takeaway here? If you could leave our viewers with like one little nugget of information okay. this morning, <laughs> Dr. Emily, what would that be? Make sure you request and that you're aware that you're receiving an oral cancer screening. And if you have, if your doctor has the opportunity to use one of the special lights, accept that opportunity. For sure. Great information. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to I've meet you. It, yeah, I've enjoyed it, Danielle. Thank you. I've enjoyed having you. Hope you come back again and share some love great that. information with us. Thank you. And for more information on Dr. Emily Graham and oral cancer screening, simply visit the website. It is txbestdentist.com. TX is in Texas. txbestdentist.com.